Hey everyone, uh, it's Gruff Boss. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're playing the Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Medan by Super Massive Games. Um, if you followed along my playthrough of Until Dawn, which was another one of their titles, uh, this one plays a lot just like that. You make decisions and just see how everybody survives or you decide who survives in the end to, for the multiple endings. Uh, yeah, on this playthrough we're just going to just kind of go through and if we lose some people that's fine. Um, it's not that big of a deal and I'm just going to walk through uh, pick up as much hidden stuff as I can. I'm not gonna Yeah, I'm it's not gonna be, be a big deal if I miss a bunch of stuff and Yeah, so we're just gonna play through and see how the story goes Unfortunately, this game seems to have some sound glitches too, uh, so I'm just going to skip through the the main song uh, to introduce the game, because uh, I've been having troubles with that, and there's like a really loud humming. I'm not quite sure if it's like a glitch they have to fix or not, but... It's extremely annoying. Okay, so World War II ship. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Our character sounds like a douche. Um, okay, well, let's see what he says about his son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Then we'll check the dragon tail. Okay, let's see what's under the tail. Fish. It looks like a fish? Okay, 
肯定会随之而来。Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Yeah, which I knew what it was saying. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? You can fight with your friends better, Yongsh. Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. A whole fifty cents. I'll give it a whirl. Okay, don't fuck up. Get this. Oh, I got it. Oh, we won it. Yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? Why am I wasting this black hole on a waste of time? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Wonder what the hell they're hauling. It's never a good sign. Skull and crossbones. Hey man! Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Hey, come on, man! Hey! Buzz off, buddy! Nobody pushes me around! Looks great.
it's weird. It sounded like there was a war or something going on outside. Well, let's check that out. Picture of his son. Okay, can we go through that door? You know, it's a never good, never a good sign when you're locked into a room. It's in here. What the hell? Yeah, that must be for the door. Yeah, we won't mess around with him. Check down here. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I know what's happening on the ship. Yeah, let's see what's this. Okay, so it's just discipline for them being intoxicated. I'll pick up a lot of like these papers. Um, if you want to read through them, just pause the video. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. What's that blood splatter? Interesting how he didn't say anything about that. Let's keep going. Shit. Wonder what the fuck he's running from. What the hell? Honestly, thought I was gonna fail that. The heartbeat thing. What was Fucking that? kid. Can we go this way? Nope. Dude, just standing in a locker. Okay, let's go in here. Hey, Charlie, help. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song.
Dude's okay. Just a scratch. God damn. Another stiff? Who's the lucky one? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Look like he's seen something terrifying. Wait a minute. Is there a path this no. Let's check out this way. Of course, it's locked. It's like the creepy fog on the floor. Hey, Joe? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Oh, that friggin' kid. Charlie, get over here. They're all dead. Oh God, no! Charlie! <laughs> what the fuck? It's a fucked up kid. Okay, we gotta shoot him. That's why you never follow strange kids on a World Mayday, War II boat. Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Oh, 
I wonder what the hell that was. It has four arms and everything. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Alex. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, we'll go resentful. I wanted to. I just didn't didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Whoa! Careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro. Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Oh, he's an asshole. Uh, just go on easy. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. Oh, shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean like we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out and... Kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. Mm -hmm. 
All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Ooh. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Uh... Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Uh, be sentimental. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey, Julia and Conrad. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with you. Uh, let's go relax. Yeah. yeah cool. Okay. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's Jim. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, let's be self-assured. Yeah, totally, well, all the time. Nice, I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope, not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. <laughs> 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 oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Fliss. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Oh, and I'm fired. What a bitch.